Grab your resistance bands and let's build strength to help manage diabetes. This is a 30 minute full body strength workout for people with diabetes using resistance bands and loop and tube bands are going to work best. I provide links to the bands that I use down in the description below. You'll need a pillow or a rolled up blanket for stretching at the end. Before getting started, please make sure that your blood sugar is between 100 and 250 milligrams per deciliter and that you've watched the relevant safety and instructional videos posted in the description below. Let's start warming up with a curtsy lunge. With heels under the hips, take a diagonal step backward with your left foot as you cross it behind your right leg, bending both knees to the point that your left knee almost touches the ground. Stand back up and return to start. Repeat on the other side. 45 seconds. Keep a steady breathing rate throughout the warm up. warm-up exercise is going to be a waiter's bow. Squeeze your chest upward, put a tiny bend in the knees, bend forward at the hips while sliding your hands down your legs and keeping your abs braced. Make sure that your upper back doesn't cave in throughout the movement. Squat jacks are about to get our heart rates up. Standing with heels on your hips, bend your knees and lower your hips until you're at a quarter squat. With chest up, abs braced. Hop both feet out to the side and then back to the start. Keep this up for 45 seconds while maintaining a chest up position. Drop to your hands and knees for cat-cow. Place your hands directly underneath your shoulders and knees below the hips. Pull your spine to the ceiling while pulling your head and pelvis towards each other. Hold for a few seconds. Now reverse the position so that your head and tail are now pulling towards the ceiling while your belly button drops to the floor. Last warm-up is a plank up down, and it can be done from the knees or toes. Start with your forearms on the ground straight out in front and elbows under shoulders. Knees or feet should be about hip width apart, and your body should maintain a straight line from head to knee or head to foot. Move your left hand under the left shoulder, push up, and move the right hand under the right shoulder. Place the left hand back to start and then repeat on the right.
ahead and jump into the workout. We're doing 10 different movements that are each going to be repeated once, and we'll go for 30 seconds on, 30 seconds of rest for each movement. The first exercise is the banded curtsy lunge on the right leg. Place the band under your right foot and grab each side of the band about 6 to 12 inches from the ground, depending on how low your lunge is going to be. And then stand up with feet hip width apart. Step the left foot diagonally behind the right leg like we did in the warm up. Drop and down so that the left knee is just above the ground. Stand up and return to start. Continue on the left leg with chest up position. The curtsy lunge trains mainly the muscles in the legs, glutes, and calves, while the upper body stays contracted to support the band. Let's rest for 30 seconds. Check down below in the description if you want to take a look at water bottles, t-shirts, and other merch to help support the channel. Curtsy lunge on the left leg is next. Moving into a banded spin press now. With heels under hips, wrap the loop band around your upper back with each end of the band in your hands. Place your hands in front of you at chest level with palms open and pushing against each other with fingers pointing forward. Start to slowly push your hands straight out in front of you like Daniel LaRusso until your arms are straight and then return to start. Pushing your hands together is important for this exercise as it's going to keep your chest activated as this is the main muscle group trained. Keep your shoulders pulled down throughout the exercise and maintain a steady breathing pattern. This next exercise, the banded single leg deadlift, is a unilateral exercise, meaning it works one leg at a time. And this is going to help improve balance. If it's too challenging, try it without the band while holding onto a staple structure like a table. Place the band under your left foot and grab each side at about shin level and stand up. Heels under hips, making sure to transfer your weight to your left leg. Move the right leg to the back wall while allowing your hands to move towards the floor, bending at the hips with a slight bend in your left leg. Once your hands get below the knee, bend the left knee so that your hands finish at about mid shin. Stand back up. The leg moving towards the back wall and torso should stay in a straight line. Let's do single leg deadlifts on the right leg now.
push-ups are up next. Let's get on the floor in a push-up position with hands spread out flat on the ground just outside the shoulders. Begin to walk your feet as close as you can towards your head while bending your hips upward, staying on the balls of your feet and keeping your arms straight. Your body should form the shape of a triangle. Bend your elbows to lower your head as close to the ground as possible without touching or barely touching the ground, keeping your elbows flared out to the side at about a 45 degree angle from the torso. Straighten your arms to return to start. Inhale as you bend the elbows, exhale as you straighten them. If this is too intense, take a step or two backward. The pike push-up is mainly gonna work the shoulders and triceps, but the chest, abs, and lower back are also gonna be strongly engaged. Single arm banded reverse flies with shoulder internal rotation are up next, and a wall or other stable structure like a table is gonna be needed to prop up against. It's also gonna be helpful to use a lighter band. From a standing position, place your left hand against the wall or other stable object, heels under the hips, slight bend in the knees, chest up with abs braced, bend at the hips until your torso is angled at about 45 degrees while maintaining a flat back position. Put the lighter band under your right foot, and grab the band with your right hand while your right arm is hanging down next to the leg and palm facing the wall behind you. Bring your right arm out to the side up to about shoulder level while maintaining that slight elbow bend. Inhale as you lower the band and exhale as you lift it out to the side again. Let's do those on the left side now. Grab each end of a tube band in each hand for hammer curls. Stand on the center of the band with heels under the hips or wider for stability. Keep a neutral grip with palms facing each other. With your elbows held into your side, abs brace and chest to the ceiling, begin to curl the bands up towards your shoulders by bending your elbows. Slowly lower your hands until the arms are straight. Inhale as you straighten the arms and exhale as you bend. We're going to drop to the mat for our last exercise in the sequence, abdominal crunches. Lie on your back with knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Place your hands just behind the ears with elbows winged out to the side. Use your abs to curl your upper back upward, lifting the shoulder blades off the ground. Slowly lower, making sure to keep those elbows flared out to the side and don't pull on your neck. Exhale as you curl up, inhale as you lower. Repeat each of these exercises one more time with a banded curtsy lunge on the right leg up first. Please remember to give me the thumbs up if you appreciate the workout.
and a curtsy lunge on the left leg now. Banded spin pressed up next. single leg deadlifts on the left side. single leg deadlifts on the right side. Push-ups are up next.
single arm banded reverse fly on the left arm. Do some banded hammer curls. wrap things up with abdominal crunches. Nice work, time to cool down with some stretching. Standing with heels under hips and a slight knee bend with chest up and arms straight overhead. Begin to bend at the hips and go as low as you can safely go with a flat back. Make sure that you're stretching until you feel some tension but no pain. 45 seconds.
get into a kneeling position at about hip width distance between the knees on a soft mat for this next one. And you may want some extra cushion under your knees like a pillow or a rolled up blanket. Step your left foot forward so that both legs are at 90 degrees. Move your hips forward until you feel a stretch in your right front thigh. Switch legs, hold for 45 seconds. Go back to a kneeling position on both knees, but widen the distance between the knees and sit back on your heels while keeping your two big toes touching each other. Begin to reach your hands forward while lowering your torso, rest your forehead on the ground, or if you're not quite there yet, rest your forehead on a cushion or your fists. Stand up for the last stretch. Clasp your fingers together behind the back. With straight arms, begin to lift your hands towards the ceiling while keeping a chest up position. Thanks for training with me.